Hey, welcome to Trains Are Fun. It's time to unbox a really big box we got from Train World. But before we get to that, I, a couple of things. I did the video just cleaning off the table. I got, I went and bought some glue. This is, I'm going to make a glue water mixture or something or whatever it is with a, I'm going to uh, be putting some scenery down <laughs> on the layout. So I, I said, I better get some, but better get some glue. And this is for some stuff I got to repair and some custom Lego train tracks things I'm doing. All right. And I did find, I knew I had that salty. Um, is this, wait a minute, is this the wide version or the narrow version? Oh, I think it's, it's so hard to tell. I think it's the wide version. It's got the hooks in the front, so it's got to be, right? Am I right? Oh, where are the other ones at? Yeah, it's the, the, the right one. So I did have that one. And I already had this one. I found them in another box along with Toby. So I got now I got two Tobys. Oh well. I'm eventually going to get the diecast train collection organized. All right. So before I get to the Train World box, one more thing: these um, LGB rails here, these brass rails. These are the kind that you can use outdoors. I found these at a local hobby shop for five dollars. It's 1,200 millimeters. It says 1,200 So this isn't somebody putting the wrong sticker on something. It's probably somebody putting the wrong price because a single straight section that's about that long there costs $8. <laughs> but I got this entire... It's used. Uh, so there, there is a discount for used stuff, but it's the uh, 1,200 millimeter. I don't know why they... A long track like this is in millimeters, but I got both of these for $5 each. So that's like a bunch of... LGB track now. <laughs> so very pleased with that find. I'm glad I walked in that store. I almost didn't go in the store. I'm glad I went in the store. <laughs> All right, because they, they never usually have anything I want to buy. Uh, but Train World always has stuff I want to buy, and I just can't afford to buy everything. But we get to get this. It's rather large, as you can see. And I do have some other things. So I was watching the. Um, the live stream. The Ken's been doing a lot of live streams over there, Train World, on YouTube and on Facebook. And um, I caught one of them on the replay. I didn't catch it live, but it's one where we had a bunch of different um, manufacturers. But this isn't anything new here. There are a lot of new products coming out. Let's see what we got. A bunch of air bubbles. They were, this thing's well packed. It's a box of bubble wrap. Let's get him out of there. Now that's how you pack something. This is something that's been on my wanted list for a long, long time. Long time. And I finally broke down. And got it because of the other new releases. I will say, well, I'm going to go ahead and order a couple of things while I'm there. But everything else is, I think I'm waiting for it to come out. Oh. Isn't that nice? If you could see it. Yeah. Finally got Jane. Beautiful James the Red Engine. This is the Bachman G scale James. It just looks gorgeous. Oh, look at those wheels. They're not black, but they are just they're metallic. It looks really good anyway. I know it's not black, but it still looks good. protective cover off the front. Oh, shiny red paintwork. Oh, come on out. Let's try the tender first. Number five. 
Number five is alive. Come on out, James. Don't mess up my shiny red paintwork. I'm sorry. What do you think? Ooh. Oh. His wheels. There's the coupler thingy. Crew cab. Nice. Very nice. So it's got instructions on how to adjust the couplers, change them different orientation, low, high, yeah, knuckle couplers, all that kind of good stuff. So because the G scale stuff is, you know, big <laughs> and it costs a little more, I don't have as much of it. So one thing I don't really have a lot of is freight and passenger wagons. Oh, I got that. Wait a minute. Oh, is that the right way? Okay. But I do, I'm trying to get all the different locomotives. There's still a couple of things I want to get, which includes Toby. I need to order Toby. But I have to do a little bit at a time. But that is James. Look, I'm Sam Strange. Boop. All right, so it's a nice locomotive. It's long. I hope it'll work. I set up some track on the floor. It'll probably derail because I don't have a level, um, completely level floor because of the rugs and stuff. I need to set it on something a little more flat, but it won't fit on the table, so I got to put it on the floor. And if this doesn't work, oh well, we'll have to try something later. So one day, hopefully, I'll get more LGB track, where, uh, track that's uh, good for outdoors, because I want to set up a small outdoor railroad where we can go and run these things. I'm not having to set up these temporary things in the floor, on the floor. Uh, but let's see how it does. This is my first time running it. See if it can make this S curve. Nope. I was afraid of that. No S curves for James. Hold on. Ugh. Just doesn't work on the S curve. Come on, James. Yeah, this isn't going to work. Uh, let me make the track different. Here we go, Charlie. Oh, he's going the wrong way. Oh no! How did he derail? I don't think that wheel's spinning. What do you think, Charlie? <laughs> oh, good grief. What happened? Alright, so I must need to read the manual. I do have one little issue here. These, the, the wheels to the trucks 
are coming out like see right there it's it's getting it's locking up and that's what's causing it to derail i thought it was my track but when i set this on see how that wheel comes out so it's like it's not it's not long enough for this or either this needs to be adjusted somehow so i'm going to look at the manual see if there's a way to adjust that because it shouldn't come out that easy so what's happening yeah it's it's coming out and light that's why it wasn't spinning this one the back one's kind of okay yeah the back one stays in but the middle one and the front one especially are coming loose i got it i had to bend the the metal supports in a little bit i think it's working now just needed a minor adjustment So I think that's enough running of it tonight. Sorry I, I didn't have a well-lit place to do it. I might set something up outside one day once I get more of this LGB track. But So I'm just going to pack it away from now for now. Um, I guess I should have done a comparison to the G-Scale Lionel James. Uh, this one's a lot longer. <laughs> And I think it looks a lot better. I just had the one thing with the uh, trucks. They got a lot of play, but that's so it can go around the curves. Uh, you just got to make sure you're tr sure the track work is level. And I think if I get some of this Bach, I mean, you know, LGB track, uh, that Bachman track I had on the carpet is probably not the best thing. Plus, I didn't have a large enough area that was all one level. So there were some different uh, things there. And yeah, anyway. So that is the new, new, new to me, but not new, uh, Bachman James in G scale. So now we got James, of course we got Thomas, we got Percy. Let me put Thomas over here a little closer. We got Percy and we got Emily. That's the ones we got so far in our collection. Uh, but James is a very shiny red engine. Did I get a picture? I think I'll put that on the thumbnail. He's not looking this way though. He should be looking this way, James. I wonder if I could change his eyeballs. That's a little better, James. Thank you. All right, thanks for watching this video. It's just a quick haul, unboxing, and quick test of James. I'll do more with the G scale once I get a better location to set things up. Um, yeah, it's a lot of work, so I need to get something that's more semi permanent where I don't have to keep setting the track up each time. Because, yeah, anyway, you know what I mean. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Oh, we did order another G-Scale item. We're just waiting for it to come. Uh, check out Train World. Thanks to Train World for offering great things for sale. And we appreciate it. And we will see you in the next video. Trains are fun.